Hey, it's Kyle here, and currently on Project Nerdy, we are kind of uh, doing uh, almost our own little nerdy Oscars. Um, I know the day I'm posting, I am actually post the actual Oscars uh, taking place. Um, we were kind of talking about some stuff we'd like to see honored, or just some uh, variations of awards and stuff like that. I will say this is the first year in several that I actually didn't watch the Oscars. Um, I had a conference to go to for work on... Um, the day after the Oscars, and it was about a two-hour drive away, so I had to get up super early uh, Monday morning, so I went to bed super early Sunday night, so I just, I knew I was going to have to go to bed like halfway through the Oscars, and I'm like, there's no point, I'm just going to skip it this year, so just had to check the results the next day and stuff, so kind of sad I missed it, I always enjoy watching that, um, but kind of what I wanted to talk about is, um, a small little pet peeve I always had with the Oscars, and that is that certain genres of movies just do not get honored at all there. Um, Holly mentioned a little bit in her movie, uh, sorry, her video, uh, talking about how superhero movies just really never get honored. I mean, uh, the only one um, in recent years is um, Christopher Nolan's um, Batman movies that got some kind of Oscar hype. Otherwise, they just get dominated for the technical awards, nothing beyond that, and like special effect type stuff and costumes, never like acting and directing and best picture awards other than the Nolan ones. Um, comedies very rarely get honored. Uh, Sci-fi very rarely gets honored. Um, I wish um, they'd be more open to honoring films of other genres than the traditional Oscar-winning genres. Now, the one thing that... Uh, did make me a little bit optimistic this year that they're maybe being more open to that is that some genres that typically do not get honored were nominated this year so get out you know horror movies very rarely do so i was excited to see get out and get some nominations you also had um shape of water was kind of a fantasy movie and you know fantasy typically does it it gets honored a little bit more than sci-fi but still it's not too often so i was excited to see it uh, kind of be the big winner um so hopefully that maybe that's trending in the right direction um, so I'll be interested to see like next year with um, will Black Panther get any nominations? Be interested to see. Um, so hopefully the Oscars will um, broaden their horizons a little bit in the genres and movies they decide to honor. So um, hopefully <laughs> they will. Um, I know I'm really hopeful, that especially sci-fi movies and some superhero movies get some recognition in the near future. So that's my take on it. Um, let me know in the comment section below if there's a certain genre of movies that you really love that you feel like the Oscars just totally ignore. Um, I'd be interested to see what yours are, if there's any genres that I kind of overlooked that also kind of get ignored. And my um, nerdy pleasure was um, uh, reading, sorry, not reading, <laughs> uh, watching um, the kickoff of the um, season opener for the second part of the season for The Walking Dead. Um, um, this is my last video, the, the mid-season premiere kind of came back, so I'm a huge Walking Dead fan, so I'm excited that that's back. Um, really looking forward to seeing where um, the second part of the season goes. Um, really enjoyed the first episode, so I'm excited to see um, where it's going, so awesome Walking Dead. Um, anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video, um, hope you're enjoying this theme, and I'll see you next time, and Kat, look forward to your video on Thursday.